Have you ever wanted a really big screen? Ooh. Ooh. Have you ever wanted a movie theater-like experience in close quarters? Have you ever said to yourself, I want the biggest TV no matter what? That often means you're stuck with projector. Maybe you don't have the right environment to set those up or regular LCD, LED, OLED seems to cap out at the moment at like 88 inches. I have a very beautiful OLED display. Actually, this is the one right here. You can see the price tag is terrifying. $29,996. Some people are gonna want a solution that's a little bit more affordable, but still want scale. And that's only 88 inches only. Now, Samsung is releasing this uh, display over here, 98 inches, it's on pre-order. And that's a UHD smart QLED TV, and that's 15 grand. You probably don't wanna pay that either. Today, I'll present you with an alternative option, and it's a technology that I have not personally experienced before. It's a product from Hisense and it is a laser TV, which is essentially like a short throw projector that sits very close to the wall, but it comes with a really interesting display and it's gonna be a lot less money than those other technologies. All right, then we'll get right to it then. Meet the L9G Trichroma Laser TV. Inspired by a world of incredible color, a true feast for your eyes at a scale that makes everything feel brand new. Okay, so everything is set up in here. And if you take a glance this way, you will see the 100 inch massive display. So this might be the cheapest path towards a 100 inch TV. The L9G uses pure red, green, blue lasers to achieve new levels of color performance. 107% of the BT2020 color space, 3000 lumens of brightness. It's HDR10 capable and it's 4K at 60 Hertz. Oh, and by the way, if you need more than 100 inches, it's also available in a 120 inch variant. The key here, and, and this is the thing I was mentioning earlier, reflections, it's bizarre almost. We have these lights on the ceiling in here and they're not reflecting off the display at all. Now, as far as this ALR screen is concerned, they sell two models. There's a daylight and a cinema screen. And as you can see, they have different attributes. The daylight screen is best in bright and airy rooms with lots of space and lots of light and produces a beaming bright picture the cinema screen is obviously more for a darker environment a cinema like environment beautiful colors over wide viewing angles flat pack design screen assembly is required but the payoff is worth it oh it's also running android tv it's got everything you need to get up and running in one box so this is what the unit looks like that's going to be projecting up onto this screen 4K smart laser television, DLP, Android TV, Dolby Atmos. Remember, it has sound built into it. Uh, 4K HDR, HDMI as well. So over here, we have digital audio out. There's a bunch of HDMI ports. Uh, actually, 4K 120 hertz supported on two of those ports, 4K 60 hertz on one of them. You also have a USB port, an analog audio out. Wow, and there's even an antenna slash cable connection. This is your projection surface here in the front, speaker grill on the front, laser TV, let's turn it on. Remote is a typical Android TV, smart TV type of setup. You have your assistant button dedicated at the top. You have some shortcuts for YouTube, Google Play, Disney Plus, Prime Video. Actually, there's a dedicated media button and I've never watched Tubi before. Volume, channel change, input selector, relatively predictable stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the unit on right now. And just like that, this is surprising with the lights on. This is my first time viewing this display and it is definitely not your typical projector experience. Ooh. I can feel the heat. Sound as well. 
the sound that we're hearing right now is from the high sense unit. It is not from those external speakers. Those are just there for looks for the moment. Since we're not evaluating those DVLAs, you know how those DVLAs sound. It really does mimic just having an enormous TV. Listen, there's gonna be compromises. I look at OLED screens and the black is super dark and it's like this really saturated look, but there's something about this as well with the lack of reflectiveness, which is appealing. It's a, such a matte viewing experience. So there's, there's very little distraction, ambient light distraction going on. It's pleasing and easy to look at. Whoa. So I have been putting off getting an electric car. It's just, the electric cars that existed that were out there, they just didn't speak to me. Obviously that's changed. And you see this thing sitting right here. It's kind of uh, my dream specification of what to me was the most exciting, emotional electric car that has come out yet. This right here is the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. Why was I attracted to this? Well, obviously it's very fast. There is something about the driving position, the steering feel, the racing character. I didn't, at any moment when I'm watching that video, I didn't think, oh, I wish I was looking at a regular TV. I was just sitting there thinking, this is a huge, immersive visual that's it that's all i was thinking sitting in front sitting this distance from 100 inches that's the only thing that crossed my mind and the other thing that was surprising was the vibrancy of color i didn't expect like the red seats in that uh Taycan video to pop that much it's not what i'm used to in a lit environment with a projector so now i'm starting to understand the marketing around laser tv instead of laser projector because the experience, especially with this screen, really mimics a TV more than a projector. I feel like I can appreciate it more at this scale, those car videos, man. It's somehow, as well, there's uh, not a lack of detail, like stuff getting lost in the dark or, or bright sections. You can see all the detail. It's a very balanced kind of lighting. Like it's not overly contrasty or boosted to the extent that you feel like you're losing information. We'll hit the lights, Mo. Look, no reflection. You seeing that? Okay, so the flashlight is on on the phone. I think I can probably even go close. Look, a, barely a shimmer on there in the black areas exclusively. That would be a big ugly when you're trying to watch a movie. I don't, you probably can't even see me right now. I have many displays in my house and ought to be a light somewhere in the kitchen or something. You're trying to watch a movie and you have this, you see the light fixture in great detail on the glossy surface. This is like the matte finish TV. <laughs> It's not a TV like you know it. It's not really trying to be. It actually has its own set of attributes and its, its uniqueness to it. This is gonna be interesting to people who uh, want scale. They wanna start with scale and go from there. They're like, I want 100 inches and I don't wanna spend $25,000 or $15,000 or what, whatever typical TV technology would demand for a display of this size. So it's got an Android TV, so you can install anything you want on it. YouTube Prime Video, Google Play, movies and whatnot. It's a little bit surprising to me. My mind was thinking more projector as far as how the visual is gonna look, but really that's not the case because I've never seen a projector be powerful enough in a lit room to really mimic the TV experience. This one is the closest that I've seen. So if you want 100 inches, but you want to pay less, then laser TV tech is something to look at. Okay.